everyone so I thought I would do a come follow me along for the day at work video I'm regretting that now at quarter past seven in the morning feeling a little bit worse for wear but if you want to come to London with me for the day um then stay tuned <laughs> Good morning everyone if you can't tell i'm not a morning person <laughs> i'm so i'm struggling um it's well it's not the time is just flying it's now almost 20 past seven um i leave the house at 20 past eight um almost a little bit before um but i do like to put on some makeup uh whenever i'm going into london so um yeah today i started my new job um a week ago and i just thought you guys would probably like to come along for the day not gonna like show you too much about the actual job <laughs> obviously because of like confidentiality and things but um just for it'd be fun uh you can say hi to han you can come on the train with me see some sights maybe so yeah I'm gonna speed do my makeup. Wow, I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward it. I'm not fast forward it. Make it fast. I'm gonna make it fast um, on here so you can watch me get ready uh, for the day. I'm wearing a really cute jumpsuit that well not jumpsuit bodysuit sorry that I was actually oh um this is a quick note I have put lots of goodies lots of clothes on vinted. And they're all like brand new with tags. Um, this was something that was going to go on there. But then I decided I really, really like it. <laughs> it's really hard when you have so many clothes. But you like, like because I've kept them all. It means that I, I really like them. Because I try on a lot of clothes for you guys. So I was like, either I wear it or I get rid of it. So I was like, well, I want to wear it. And I'm going to try and wear it today. It's like a space dye. I'm not going to do the bodysuit up. But how cute for spring i love it so i'll leave my vintage down below uh if you want to check it out I, I know there might not be that much left because you guys have been going crazy um but yeah thank you thank you for all the shopping um yeah let's get on with this makeup <laughs>
So let's ignore all the mess. <laughs> Uh, but this is the outfit for the day um i work in like a really like casual office so jeans and a cute top is fine um i will say the bodysuit is quite high cut so it's like finishing here so i'll just have to be careful of that um but yeah it's very pretty very colorful um so yeah it's like spaced tie-dye colors um, and I think it looks really cute with the jeans as well. Um, but yeah, please ignore the mess. The bathroom is still in progress. So yeah, I'm going to put some socks on, some shoes on, get my bag ready, get a coat on because it's planning on raining this afternoon, which we love. And uh, yeah, buy my train ticket, all the important things. Uh, so yeah, see you in a minute. So just walking to the train station now it's a really beautiful morning as you can see a little bit early but that's all good it's it's a nice day i think it is gonna be raining later though hence the raincoat um but i have to get two trains first i'm getting like the local train that takes me to the um the main station then there's a, a really annoying 29 minute wait because i literally miss the train before by a minute or so so i will go get a coffee and just wait and then we get the train to london which is about an hour and 15 minutes so yeah 10 past eight now not 10 past about quarter past eight now and i won't get into london until about 25 past 10 so a bit of a trek but what can you do it to London just waiting for my bus it is here so on the way to Covent Garden now some lunch um we've actually been kindly invited to byron burger here in Covent garden yeah. uh, to try their it's called like the rare bit rare bit it's they're burger. bringing back some of their classic must-have burgers so i'm gonna go try that can't wait and some sort of coffee milkshake which i'm that i'm very much for that <laughs> So we ordered the Byron Oki milkshake and Hannah's gonna give it a go. Hi. It's super fit. Mm. Really good. That's nice. That's tasty. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> so I'm gonna try one of the halloumi fries with, it was like a chipotle mayo or something? Was it recommended to us? They're super hot. Oh my god, I haven't had to try this. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so, we ordered the mac and cheese, and it is literally the yummiest mac and cheese I've ever had. It's super cheesy, super like creamy. Yummy food dance! <laughs> So guys, we're feeling very well. Cool. Um, so I had the Run Rabbit Run Burger, which is their like special at the moment. It was really, really good. Very cheesy. And you just had just the cheese burger. Yeah. The milkshake was so yum. And the sides 
That was really good. What was your favourite side? Um, the halloumi, actually. But with the sauce. Mm -hmm. We need to find out what, I'll write here what the sauce was. Uh, so massive thank you to Byron Burger for treating us to that lunch. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so guys, very interesting video of us <laughs> basically in the street <laughs> for the entire time. But it's the end of the day. Yeah. We had a pretty slumbersome afternoon because we're full of food. Coma. But you're off to home now? Well, you're yeah. going to buy an umbrella because it's raining. Yeah, it's raining. Traditional London weather. And so I'm going to go to Waterloo now. You're going home? Yeah. I'm going to go to Muji and then home. Go to where? Muji. Muji. To get an umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy umbrella, that is. <laughs> and so I'll see you soon. The rain. Why does it always rain at home time? <laughs> it was torrential and of course I had an ASOS parcel that's been left out in the rain all day on my doorstep. Thank you every, as always, top-notch delivery service. I look pretty disheveled right now. <laughs> uh, so it's quarter to eight, which is actually my um, earlier home time. Um, now that I work near Covent Garden, it's actually very easy for me to get to Waterloo. Um, it takes 10 minutes either walking, well, probably about 15 minutes walking, uh, but like 10 minutes on the bus. Um, and when it's raining, like in the summer, it's really nice to walk over the bridge, but when it's cold or it's raining, um, and you're just tired, um, the bus is the way to go, worth every penny. Um, so it doesn't take me as long to get to Waterloo so I can get the five past six train, uh, which gets me home for quarter to eight. Otherwise, I normally get home, well, I used to get home around quarter to nine, which used to be just in time for Love Island. <laughs> so. Uh, so it's nice to be home. It's still a tiny bit of daylight, but the rain, wow, it capelled me. Um, so obviously me and Han had that mega lunch. Um, not feeling too hungry, but I do want to have something. Otherwise I'm going to wake up tomorrow super, super hungry. Um, and also I have something that's going out of date today. So, you know, we've got to make sure we at least eat some of it. Um, so... Um, I went to M&S, where did I go to M&S? Just before Easter, and they had like a picnic deal, the three for eight pounds jobby, and that includes their quiches. So we've got this gorgeous so Scottish salmon and broccoli quiche. Um, this looks really good. I'm gonna pop it in the air fry. I'm gonna have half for dinner tonight, and I'm gonna have half for lunch tomorrow. So we will get through this quiche. Um, I definitely prefer quiche for like lunch more than dinner. But yeah, I'm gonna, and also sorry I haven't shown you me at the office, but obviously there's a lot of like people there <laughs> that probably don't want to be on my YouTube channel. And obviously with the kind of work that I do working in advertising, um, there's obviously a lot of stuff around that um, isn't yet public. <laughs> uh, you know, NDA, 
territory. Um, and yeah, I need to respect people's privacy as well as the agency's privacy. So I hope you can understand. Um, I suppose one day I could show you me like working from home, but again, like you're not actually going to see the work. Um, <laughs> it's just going to be me like pretending. So, um, but hopefully you got to kind of see a little bit of London, see what my kind of like everyday um, day is like <laughs> um, when I'm not working from home. Um, I go up to London twice a week. So yeah, it was... It's always nice to go to the office. It's really nice to see everyone. And it's really nice to be in Covent Garden, but I am a bit knackered. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know you didn't see much, but you've got to see Han. I know a lot of you like to see Han when she's in the video. Here is our gorgeous Gorgina quiche. Um, it looks so yummy. I'm gonna see if I can fit the whole thing in do i try that or do i cut it in half oh, i don't know i'm tired and i need someone to make decisions for me but i'm gonna sort that out and then i will catch you upstairs to take this face of makeup up. but let's be fair it is held up pretty well we were putting this on this has lasted 12 hours we've got a bit of redness there that's because of the wind but not bad not bad at all pretty good <laughs> hello again <laughs> so it is the end of the day we've been with each other since quarter past seven i think was when i started filming my get ready with me so almost 14 hours <laughs> And I'm a bit tired. There is something so comforting about putting, I love these little hairband things. If you've never tried one, you can get them like really cheap, like uh, TK Maxx sell them, Boots sell them. Um, I got this off RIP Cherries. Um, I got this on Cherries. I think like B&M sell them. They're just, there's something about them. I really like them. <laughs> It's a, it's a weird obsession I have with these. Um, like when I stay at hands, and if I don't have it with me to do my makeup in the morning, I'm really upset. <laughs> I'm not upset, but I notice that I don't have it. <laughs> it's really part of the routine. So anyway, um, just for I would take my makeup off, have a little end of the night chat, um, and just show you the products I use. Some of you are gonna hate me, but I do use simple wipes still. I just, I just like them, okay? And if I don't have the simple wipes, then I end up getting like baby, I use some form of wipe. Um, so these ones are biodegradable, so better than a wet wipe or baby wipe or whatever wipe. And I do find they do take off like quite a lot of makeup. Um, I just really like them. Um, I've tried Primark wipes, um, Johnson & Johnson, Nivea. None of them are as good as simple wipes, in my opinion. Um, I've Yeah, I've tried pretty much all of them. And these are just my go-to. I will say, though, it is quite a fresh pack. And uh, the juice is all at the bottom of the pack. So the top wipes are never the juiciest. And then the last wipe is always the juiciest wipe. Very wet. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it was a really nice day, apart from the rain at the end. It was so windy and rainy coming home. Um, but yes, I am now have a full-time permanent role um, at an agency that, oh, we just really like, we're like really happy with where we've ended up working with actually a lot of people that we've worked with uh before a long time ago um and it's just been like so nice just like catching up with people and like being like hey like i recognize you like did we used to work at the same place before like years ago and yeah it's just been really lovely it's a smaller agency um than where we've been to previously but it's just good vibes and we know the people there are good at their jobs um yeah, we're just really happy there. Um, they've got some really exciting clients. They're doing some really exciting work. 
um and yeah we feel like it's just a place that we know that we can grow with them um and there could be some amazing opportunities so yeah we shall see we shall see where it takes us um but yeah i know some of you will still be curious about that whole situation it was a long situation it was november when um i was made redundant and it's been this long it's been a bit complicated and i don't think i'm in the right place to talk about it um in terms of it's still quite recent and there's a lot of different agencies and different p people and foul play and other things and po office politics and finance and all that sort of stuff that probably shouldn't be made public on youtube <laughs> so up next uh, this is my favorite eye makeup remover that is affordable and i will say i like to treat myself to stuff that lasts a while so eyeshadow palettes lipsticks you know charlotte tilbury blushes yes they're gonna last you a while but stuff that you're using every day um like mascaras brow gels makeup removers um i like to go more affordable so i use this every day and it's fab it is the nivea double effect waterproof eye makeup remover uh and i use this for my uh eye makeup um, i do have very sensitive eyes um and i feel this one doesn't sting them at all it is one of those bi phase products where you have to shake it i think it's got like oil as well as like a micellary type water so it's getting like all the goods as you can see <laughs> there you go guys i do have tinted lashes so my lashes are that's the one thing with um that's kind of annoying with tinted eyelashes is that you don't know if you've got all your makeup off or not um because it still looks black and then sometimes if you've not been diligent enough you have black black on your on your pillowcase in the morning so a little bit of mascara but i'm normally pretty good um and this stuff is pretty good because also i've taken like a little bit off with the um the simple work as well so we've done the eyes we've done the initial makeup removal this gets a lot of the spackle off gets the majority but we still need one final clean um and i love this garnier as you can see now if someone gets through one of these bottles you know they like it because this is huge it's like in my head this is like a liter it's 400 mil incredible incredible value like like when do you even need to buy new ones of these like i've had this for months um and it says it should only last six months once open but that's okay i personally like the hyaluronic aloe water because i am a dry girly and this um is for dehydrated and sensitive skin they used to do one which was like a milky one i've literally held on to it for so long but i actually threw it away the other day because it was just ridiculous and i wasn't even using it but it reminded me of the glossier jelly cleanser um but they don't make that one anymore which i think is a shame because like it was such a great dupe but this one's nice um it's very cooling Woo, cooling um and this just gets you like even once you've like simple wiped now i will say like i'm not like the best um at like removing all the makeup i do my best but like nobody's perfect i'm not like a triple cleanser cleansing balm girly yet i feel like once i've got my new bathroom set up which like i'm so close to getting it finished guys i am gonna literally put the video up as soon as it's done i'm so excited to show you it um but yeah so just a couple of little things to go in the bathroom i can use the bathroom but it's not finished um it still needs to be decorated um i've currently got an extension cable going from my loft in my bedroom down to a, a plug uh so what the shower can like work it needs to be like properly like wired in so i'm waiting for that and then um just like the toilet roll holder put up the towel rail put up 
just like bits like that so i really want to show you it when it's like completely done in one big video because that's what i prefer i don't like someone that's like come back for part two even though it's a great way to get subscribers <laughs> um so yeah got quite a lot off with that there's probably still some more on my face but that's just how i take my makeup off i'm just showing you the real me <laughs> this is me um for just something to slap on my face uh before bed um i bought this at home bargains it was like super cheap it is the uh, revolution x uh overnight recovery cream it's normally like two pounds uh, normally 10 pounds um and it was down to two but it did feel like there wasn't a lot of product in here it's very gel like very light so i feel like you would go through this very quickly and to say this is an overnight cream it doesn't feel thick enough for a night cream um but it is what it is that's fine it's okay for two pounds you know i wouldn't buy it for 10 pounds um but i would buy it for two pounds <laughs> and then with this mega cheap cream we're going in with some mega expensive serum that pills this is probably why it was an outlet I got this in outlet for, I think it was 25 euros, originally 120 euros. So I had to get it because I was like, what the hell? Why is this so expensive? Um, this is the Clinique, Clinique Smart Custom Repair Serum. Um, I got my mum one for her birthday as well because I just thought, well, you know, it could be the best thing since sliced bread with that kind of price tag. Um it's just okay i've not noticed anything miraculous with it and it does pill under makeup um i think i think that's the the pillar it wouldn't surprise me because it is quite like a thick moment um so i'm just trying to like use it up basically um get my 25 euros worth in it's nice i haven't noticed anything but obviously i've not been able to wear it like every day because it, it pills under makeup so I'm not getting the best benefit from it, but whatever. I just kind of put it everywhere, <laughs> especially like aging areas, um, which is everywhere. <laughs> so that is my nighttime routine, which you didn't even come here to watch. <laughs> so yeah, I'm now going to head to bed probably give jp a call and watch tiktoks for probably <laughs> i normally give myself an hour of tiktoking but i know in reality it will be two hours <laughs> how bad is that it's awful it just the just the time just disappears sometimes i watch a youtube in bed but i really like to watch youtube on my big telly you know in the living room um or have like something in the background like while working or whatever um, but I like to TikTok at night and on the toilet. <laughs> that was TMI. And for those that have got to the end of this video, um, do you TikTok on the toilet? You can just answer yes or no. Yes, talk or no talk. So yes, talk is if you TikTok on the toilet. No talk if you do not tick tock off the toilet <laughs> i like doing these little end of end of video poll question things because it's so nice to see so many of you watching the ends of my videos that's really lovely so yeah thanks to all i did it on the, the mango video and i had like a whole fruit salad of comments so yeah um i'm um, yeah i'm gonna go to bed now um <sighs> i am a little bit tired these are long tiring days but they are fun um and it's nice to go to london so yeah i will see you in the next video um give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and uh yeah see you soon bye